Uh, as well be hung for a sheep as a duck bill, whatever you want to call it. For Evis Quest, I'm Marvin Gankhouse. Hello, Mr. Gankhouse. Hello, Isaac Newton. Well, Mr. Gankhouse? Yes. You know the way we're super busy working on our grand project? Do I ever? Uh, does that mean yes? Yes, Isaac Newton, that means yes. Well, don't you think it's a shame that our audience hasn't had content in a while? And the cursed algorithm buries us under an endless pile of beginner tutorials and zoomed out unscripted gameplay commentary videos? Actually, I do think it's a shame that our audience hasn't had content in a while and the cursed algorithm buries us under an endless pile of beginner tutorials and hacky zoomed out unscripted gameplay commentary videos. And you know the way we have tons of PvP footage we're not using? Yes. Couldn't we release a lot of that to keep our fans going? Sure. Do you want to pick out a few clips from the archives? I'll get right on it. And I'll keep him busy for a while. Exploded we will go, exploded we will go, we'll hack the kings and let's stop playing to make a lot of dough. Recently, I sensed there might be a way to farm skill points that's not generally known by the EVE community at large. If you're a new player, you may have completed the Air Career Objectives and got a heap of skill points from that. If you're an experienced player, you might not have bothered with it, but you'll surely agree that skill points are very important and very desirable no matter who you are. The Air Career Program takes a new capsuleer through the main career choices in four sections and rewards them for doing so with many cool prizes. But is it possible for an experienced player to exploit the program? Yes. You can get somewhere in the region of 750,000 skill points for completing the full air thing, or close to that if you're a normal person and couldn't be bothered doing a whole lot of yucky mining in industry like a putt. I fitted up an osprey that's easy to skill into and can be used to knock out a whole heap of the combat objectives in one go. The fit is in the description. Just get a friend to help you or use an alt account in multi-box, start a duel somewhere quiet in high sec, or find a wormhole or null system where you're safe and just go at it with each other. You can watch your objectives fill up in real time. Now here's the exploity bit. Where do you suppose those skill points go when you earn them? That's right, your redeem items window. And they have no expiry. And you can put the skill points from three alts into a single character. That's two and a quarter million extra skill points to apply to your main character for the low low investment of a bit of work. You could get it done on three tunes in a week very comfortably, or thrash it out in a few days. It may even be possible to delete a character and start again, potentially giving you an infinite supply, although that has yet to be tested. If you've tried this, let us know whether or not it worked. Click on this little doodler in your sidebar, or go to Activities, then Air Career Program to start the fun. <laughs> Time to activate Mega Newton Strength! <laughs> Mr. Gankhouse, Mr. Gankhouse, oh yeah! <laughs> Right, I'll run these ones. Off to the studio we go. And now it's time for the part of the show that all people hope to get into. That is, of course, as long as they're the shenaniganer and not the shenanigan-y. It's PvP shenanigans. A good pacifier is 400 million isk, but you can have a lot of fun in one. Their scan resolution is high enough to lock up even small ships really quickly, and with a navy scram they'll stop anything. I wouldn't take on a strategic cruiser, but this mining barge was a mighty fine meal for it. As it took quite a while to destroy, I was worried about him calling in friends, but I was lucky, and the ship made a lovely explosion. Much respect goes to the pilot of this Estero. Explorers don't often put up much resistance, but this guy actually fought me. My hobgoblins do more damage than his acolytes though, and I have a fancy armor repairer too. 
To save power, I was fuzzing my micro warp drive, so I got out of scram range a few times, but he either didn't notice or was too committed to the fight. If only all fights could be as exciting as this. Careful intel is always a good idea. One night we noticed this Stratios buzzing around a wormhole. He didn't notice us as we were cloaked and had already probed down every site in the system. When we saw him on D-Scan launching a mobile depot we got a bit more murdery. We followed him to a data site and confirmed that he had refit his ship for exploration. And that's just not allowed so he had to die. He's running. Pretty much any pacifier can kill pretty much any Astero, that's what this guy was thinking I'm sure. But what he didn't know was I had yeah. a friend in another pacifier watching over me. This is the closest shave I've had in a while and sometimes when people are stressed out they target celestial objects. Good thing this guy suffers from excessive bravery like me. He's got me into hell. Lovely. And now a poem written by me, Marvin Gankhouse, with poor illustrations done by Marvin Gankhouse. The Ballad of Prince Vanivar. New Eden can reward the brave, new capsuleers when isk you crave, and seek ye to avoid your death, always never go to geth. And hear the tale of Vanivar, who travels wide and travels far, but lost five billion in one breath, always never go to get. While Heisek is a place that pampers, it's not devoid of awful campers. Our hero struck down by a butter, if not ashamed, well then he oughta. The penance for that filthy scum, a rusty spike shoved up his bum, his nose compressed within a vice, his underpants filled up with lice. And when he screams, as scream he will, his ears be bored out with a drill. And peering in the hollowed skull, no brain, no mind, no thoughts, quite dull. While camping gates takes little talent, they will proceed by means ungallant. If seek ye to avoid your death, always, never go to get. Well, we like to pack a lot into a short time here, so as I'm sure you've noticed, the longer PvP clips are sped up to save time. We could make the long form clips available, I guess. Let us know. Well, that's all we have. Thanks for watching, and from all of us at Evesk Fast, take care and good night.